Hey David, we've just started using MyView and I'm concerned the parents aren't gonna know how to set it up. That's understandable. Let me show you how a parent would sign in and use our application right here on my own phone. Take a look. Virginia, parents will want to sign up with an email. So we'll start up with sign up for an email and they'll type in their names. I'll type in mine. Put in their email address. And you'll notice how there's push notifications preferred. And once you're done, hit register. The school district will provide all parents a specific access code to their school. Hit submit. So you will also be provided the bus numbers with which to search for. In this case, I'll type in Cathcart Elementary. And I'll see an AM route, that's the morning route, and the PM route, that's the afternoon route. I'll select those routes, hit next, and then we'll be going from point to point. We started off with adding the buses, now we'll add in our students. You'll be given ID numbers. The student ID number will be the permanent number for your student. That may be an ASB number or the state issued identification number. Put in their first name and last initial. Confirm your student, hit done. Now you may have more than one student, so you can add in a second student. Following this, you may now go to creating your alert zones. You can start by searching the address. Once you've created your address, the pin marker should put you right about where it should go. Give that a name. Then select which bus runs you want to track going through this alert zone. In my case, I'm going to put both the morning and the afternoon zones. The addresses can also be places like the YMCA, daycare, morning or afternoon, whatever, then hit next. How big do you need your zone to be? For homes that are maybe further off the main track, you may need to create a larger zone or a small zone is sufficient. Below that, you'll select the dates that you want the zone to be active for. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and or Friday. To school or from school. Select which is appropriate, then hit finish. Continuing down, you may add school notifications. Enter which school notifications you want to receive. When the bus leaves, and when the bus arrives, save. ZPass notifications. If your school district is equipped with ZPass equipment, your ki kids have been issued ZPass cards, then this will become appropriate. First option is to push notifications through the app. The second option is to have notifications go through text messaging. Input the phone number if appropriate, put input the number that you would like the text messages to go through. A 
Let's save. You may also look at your additional settings. Click on settings. Here's where you can turn on or off notifications being pushed through the app. Then you can also select the bus location refresh interval, 15 seconds or slower. You'll receive a message over your phone on occasion. If you miss the initial pop-up, you can click on the message icon and it will tell you the date and time of the message and the message itself. Buses are running five minutes late. It's as simple as that. That's all there is. That seems really straightforward. I think our parents will like that. Excellent. Thanks a lot for asking.